In this short-ish video we're going to learn about the Google search tools on mobile for me always as usual Android 7 Moto G4 no surprises there three bullet points at the top searching in the mobile app which I'm about to demonstrate does not bring up the search tools little did I know this until the other day which I was like oh my goodness I need this but bringing up Chrome and Chrome beta bring up the search tools. I will demonstrate why it is important right now with the search term red kite bird. So if we start off now, look, there's my uh, normal Android screen and I'm going to put in the top here red kite bird, red kite bird. I'm doing exactly as you see it yourself and search. Now this is the mobile Google app. So you could say I'm very happy that I found, you know, a ton of information about this beautiful bird, the red kite, bird of prey. But look, images, shopping, videos. As I scroll to the right hand side, flights, personal, that's it. That's it. If you do desktop searching, you'll know there is a ton of search tools. So I looked at this and I thought, okay, hold on a second. If we go over, swap, to um, say to Chrome, and I've got Chrome and Chrome Beta installed on this Android device. And then we bring this up, and it should, because I've just done it, you know, no, no secret, Red Kite Bird, scroll down, similar sort of thing. Now, out of sight on the right hand side, scroll across, and then we've got vertical line search tools. Bingo, life has just got a little bit better any time in the last hour 24 hours week month and year if you're looking for a bird of prey locally it would be very useful if you knew on your search whether it was found in the last month if not the last year as opposed to the history of time and then all results verbatim i'll demonstrate verbatim and the reason i'll demonstrate it now is because i didn't know what it was i know what it means exact phrase but what does it mean in reality if i do red kite bird I get these results come up. You can see a, a normal sort of knowledge area, photos, bit of Wikipedia there, facts, videos, and then some photos, fine. But if I swap that to verbatim, like that, the exact words without the quotations around them, red kite bird. Notice RSPB in the UK has come up, red kite bird, and looks like that. The point of this is let's just flip over to the final part which is Chrome Beta because Chrome Beta offers something slightly different again and that is Red Kite Bird so by now we're going to say yeah that's fine let's refine our search we can find it by scrolling to the right search tools but this time there's an extra we've got all results in the similar way which I just demonstrated all results in verbatim we've got any time in the last hour etc etc but We've also got country. So if I wanted to say, okay, our red kite bird of prey in the UK, but this time, notice slight difference here in that we've gone down and we've got a second horizontal bar that is moving around that says, yes, I want any time in the last month in the UK, 22nd of August, 2018. Can you see where this is going? It is making us quite intelligent and quite clever on our search as opposed to the standard Google app, which let's be honest, I was very much happy with and very much using. However, think about this, we're on mobile, how can you replicate uh, an advanced search easily? For those searches you want immediately for simple things, I would recommend the mobile app. Anything else, then go to Chrome, Chrome Beta. For me, I set up my desktop on my mobile with Beta along with one of the super quick launches on the bottom and then I have to scroll over to the right screen for Chrome. Chrome Beta is my staple, so good luck with it.